tell you this morning. Fuzzy. Good. Open. Good. Get. Oz turned 18 in January this year. He's one of the few sea otters ever born in human care. Good. Out in the open ocean, Oz being a male sea otter would live 10 to 15 years of age. Here at the aquarium, he has you know, well outlived his life expectancy. Shake. Good. Can I have a kiss? Good. And as he continues to age, we want to be prepared for any medical challenges that he could encounter. Good. call on the radio from the sea otter department that Ryan needed the vet on duty to come right away. So we have the blood and we're running it right now. Yeah. Run into grass. At this point, we don't know why Oz had a seizure. Oz did not have any pre-existing conditions. We need to figure out what was causing the seizures. All right, this is 32 milligrams. All right. Thank you, Laura. I, it's just about to see We need to kind of figure out, did he have an issue with his liver or his kidneys? Um, did he have some kind of infection? I don't really like is right in here. In the abdomen, we're seeing something on or around the spleen that looks a little bit like it could be a mass. One abnormality we might see is that thing on the radiograph. So we'll need to investigate that further. And then the next step is to look inside the brain. Just keep it close eye on his temple. At this point, we feel pretty comfortable. We've ruled out something wrong with his blood work. And we also don't really think we've seen an obvious reason on the x-rays, all we though we do see the mass. So we're thinking the problem is more likely in his brain or in his spinal fluid around his brain and spinal cord. So it's gonna take more testing to figure that out. Get ready to move. So at this point, it's best to go ahead and move Oz back to his habitat where it's more climate controlled for him. Yeah. I'll just call you if there's any change. Yeah, I'll check in. I'm going to plan to come by before lunch. Unfortunately, it is quite possible he could have permanent damage from the seizures. So we're going to be watching him really, really closely. I'm so happy he's breathing right now. The vet team uh, seems really hopeful. Um, because, you know, he's breathing well right now, his heart rate um, is good. He should wake up in several hours, and if he's not awake um, sometime this afternoon, then we'll regroup and figure out what our plan is going to be for him. My vision is that he is here for many more years, so hopefully we can get through this and he'll be okay. I'd feel a little better if he was awake right now moving around. <laughs> That's okay, you sleep. It's been about two or three hours since I last checked in on Oz. I think we'll just take him out by hand, just so I don't have to cut through the gallery and we'll go. I don't like the way that Oz's lungs sound. He's having some changes in his breathing pattern and the way that his airway sound. So I wanted to bring Oz down so I could take some radiographs and just really get a better idea of what his lungs look like. Mm -hmm. There are a 
couple spots in the Grady graphs that just have me concerned. There's some whiteness patches that shouldn't be there. I don't like this, it wasn't here before. All right. Okay, guys. We're hearing things that we shouldn't be hearing that we weren't hearing in conference. Let me take a look at his rads from Tuesday. Um, we're seeing things that we weren't seeing before. It's probably, probably at the beginning stages of pneumonia as well. Coming to the decision to stop is certainly not anything that any of us take lightly. He's developed some secondary conditions that unfortunately are just going to progress. And we know from the MRI that he has a significant lesion in his brain that we can't fix as much as we want to. And as time goes on, it just becomes more and more apparent that that's sometimes the thing that you have to do. amazing life here. He had the best care. I mean, he had all the enrichment that he was interested in, and he had people that just loved and cared about him so much. I call you a little peanut, but you're a big peanut. You're a big peanut. Ozzy will be greatly missed by all of us, but one of the best parts of our job is that we have three other sea otters to take care of, Bixby, Brighton, and Cruz. Yes. Good. And now it's our job to care for them the same way we cared for Oz. 